Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. After this um, 4th of July blood moon, I anticipate all of these, uh, many of these, uh, you know, events to start to ramp up. And every day you're seeing more things ramping up. And uh, even now, right now, it's barely Wednesday morning. They set a new record for the plague. I think it was over... 60,000 people in one day being positive. And now we're going to, we're just going to watch everything escalate even more. And, um, you know, yesterday saw a thing with uh, Deshaun Jackson and the way that they acted as far as what he posted without actually going over the post, you would have thought that he murdered a bunch of people. The, the way that the people came out on on him, and actually there was a there was a uh, little segment on ESPN about it, and they were just talking about just how absolutely floored and upset the uh, the owners were. Well, we already know who the what the owners are as far as their nationality is concerned. Um, so it's it's just funny how we've been called every name in a book, lied upon, given by words, been in um, put, put in slavery and everything else. But people just ignored all the things that we've gone through. So, you know, to have such a strong response, you know, sometimes maybe t I just think people should just take a look at uh, what was said or whatever, or what was tweeted or what was posted, you know. And many, many of us already know. We've already seen uh, these posts for many years. But see, now that, you know, society is cracking, people are reexamining history. They're starting to realize that the history that we've been taught has been nothing but lies. And you see many people still trying to fight to continue with that history, acting as if, um, you know, you shouldn't even question anything. But as you realize every day, you got to question everything. Every day that you look at the news, you get two alternate realities. You get, you know, Trump now all of a sudden wanting to make sure that schools are open no matter what. It's like we're going to skip over the fact that we've done nothing to stop the plague. Okay, we're not going to we're going to we're not going to stop the plague, but we want everything else to continue. You know, I said society has shown that they have what is it? You know, they have that fatigue, okay, Corona fatigue. They're not going to stay in. They don't have the will to stay in. Okay, so they went out for Memorial Day weekend, didn't heed any rules, did whatever they wanted. They opened up bars, opened up restaurants, did whatever they wanted, had 4th of July, went out, partied, whatever they wanted. But now, after they got all their fun done, now they want schools open, they want everything open next month so they can continue with their lives. I mean, their lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little Freudian slip there. Um, so it's just absolutely funny because it's like you guys don't want to do any of the work as far as to get things better. But you want all you want everything to go back to how it was without you having to do you know any sacrificing. But that makes sense because that's what they've been able to do. They didn't want to work the land, so they made us work it so they can have their. Fun. They wanted to have their party all the time, so they we they we had to work for them. We had to do everything for them so they can enjoy their lives, enjoy their heaven. You know, so it's just uh, amazing how their spirits are being shown. They don't want the work. They just want all the fun. Now, this, you know, once I put this on my mind about the whole thing with Wakanda and the, uh, you know, them being able to show who they were by pulling their lips down and showing them that they were part of being part of the, you know, the land of Wakanda. They were, they were the people of Wakanda. Now, See, this society makes it seem as if if you just look at a person, 
you can tell exactly who they are. And all the black people are all the same. But see, in the movie here, you remember the first clip when they went to, uh, when the Black Panther went to go see <clears throat> about the stolen vibranium. And when the girl showed up in the room at the beginning of the show, at the beginning of the movie, they said, you know, prove to us that you're one of us. And he had to pull down his lip and show them that they, he was one of them. They didn't just look at him and said, oh, he's black. Oh, he's one of us for sure. See, they already knew. They, everybody already knows. Well, the people in the truth know that you're not what you're all necessarily what your appearance is. That's why when you, you know you look at these uh, signs and stuff, and they say all these people that live in this area are this, and all the see that kind of goes along with the thinking of um, of the Gentiles when they say that you know all the people in Mexico are Issachar, all the black people in the United States are Judah, you know, all the people on this area is this, and it doesn't work like that because people are mobile; they move. People come from other parts of the world. Now, if it was like how it was before when we didn't have the Gentiles living here and then we were following our ways where this certain land area was for these people, then yeah, it would make sense. But once the Gentiles came here, took over the lands, started uh, coming here with their own people and took in the lands, rape, rob, rob, and her, then that didn't work. So maybe before the Gentiles got here, before 1492, maybe that would have worked. But the fact that they even did that kind of shows you maybe that's how things were set up before. And they try to still take that and still apply that to the people. But right here, we know that based off of just how you look, that does not necessarily say who you are. Now, also take another look at this a little bit deeper. When they asked who they who he was, uh, you know, they just couldn't just look at him. He had to, you know, take an action. And his action was revealing himself, okay, by pulling down his lip to show them, you know, the tattoo right there, that he was part of the people. Now, we don't have those tattoos, okay? But what we do, do, what we do know is that we take actions. Actions show who we are. The action is, are you part of the truth? Are you in the truth? Are you understanding? Has the Most High opened your eyes? And by your actions, that will show you if you're in the truth or not. Not just by how you look. You see that? So like I said, it's much deeper. So you have to take an action. Just like he did here, his action was to show his lip, was to show who he was. Our actions today is by the Spirit, by what we do. What the Most High has given us as far as knowledge and understanding. That's the difference. But see, they try to oversimplify things because that's how they are. They're very simple people. They think it's just by your, your skin color. But see, they don't want to be recognized by their skin color. They're like, well, not all white people did this or not all white people did that. Well, yes, we know that. But we're looking at your actions today. If you're still calling us black and you're still not, you know, figuring out that we're the most highest chosen people, then you're still way behind. You're still not understanding this thing. If you're still stuck on white Jesus, that's your action. That shows who you are with. If you're still fighting to get these churches open, if you're still talking about voting Democrat and Republican, th those actions right there show us who you are. If you're not down with following the Most High, okay, following his law, such as commandments, trying to do the best you can, not saying you're going to follow them perfectly, but trying to do the best you can for the Most High, that those actions show who you are. You see that? That's why the action is very important. This guy right here in this picture is showing you an action. And the action was revealing who he is. So the revealing is through action. So if you're in this truth, 100%, trying to follow the ways of the Most High, you know, recognizing who the Most High's chosen people are, recognizing who the Most High, where the land is, right? You're trying to, uh, you know, follow his laws, you know, following you know the <clears throat> following his laws following the things that he wants you to do following how following his calendar following the dietary laws as best you can 
you know, that's what we're going to be moving into very soon. There's a whole lot of things that are actually in this movie um, that really show quite a, <laughs> shows a lot of truth. Just like we know the, uh, they call their place Wakanda. And I think the place where the X is going to be out here is in Makanda. I think, okay. They're not, they're not joking anymore. They're not fooling nobody at this point. Makanda. All right. And we'll get into some other things like the, the mother was here on the earth taking care of T'Challa. The father was in a spirit realm. Okay? That's all part of it, too. <clears throat> we start thinking about the, the um, <clears throat> when we're praying. You know, we're praying for our earthly mother to take care of our needs here on earth. Or, and we're praying, you know, we talk to the angels, her angels as well. And um, the uh, spiritual realm is where you speak with the father. That's where he is. That's where he dwells. And he has, you know, you talk to him in the, in, at night and you talk to him and his, uh, his angels. And that's what's going on here in the movie as well. So there's a whole lot of uh, things that are going on right there. The women, you know, that were actually guarding T'Challa. That goes with the sealed portion of the brother of Jared, where it talks about the Erkadochoi. Erkadochoi? That's how I've pronouncing it. And when I was talking about them, are the ones who are protecting, you know, the people here who were actually like female angels. So in here, it had, you know, a female, um, they had the females protecting T'Challa, the king, here. Right here in the earthly realm. Like I said, it's not, they, they're not, they know the truth. That's why they put that stuff out there. So I, if you didn't understand why all of a sudden they had female guards, you know, you had these female badass guards who were taking care of T'Challa. That goes with the other sealed books that they're totally aware of. And they put it in a movie, but you don't really realize what they're, what they're actually really telling you. That's why when you only read the Bible, you think that all angels are a certain way. Okay. But it was talking about, you know, so, so we'll get into that in some other, another video. But um, like I said, there's a lot more going on right here. So, again, just to recap, you have to go, uh, you have to show an action that shows that you belong to this certain group. And the movie was just revealing the tattoo. Here in life, you have to reveal through action who you are and who you belong to. Not all, not all so-called black people belong to the same people or to the same group. Because we know that back in the day, everyone was melanated. So you got to have that action right there. All right. And like I said, here in the earthly realm, he, like T'Challa was worried about, you know, he was talking with his earthly mother. And she was providing things for him and everything else. And the father was in the spiritual realm. And it showed him actually, you know, going and um, it showed T'Challa actually going to the spiritual realm to talk to his father, to get guidance, because he wasn't sure. And we do that in the evenings when we talk to the, the Heavenly Father, or whenever you guys, whenever we do it. Okay, so he was getting, the T'Challa was getting actually direction from his earthly mother here and in his Heavenly Father. Okay, but that was his regular father in the movie, but we know how, we know what they mean. They're not going to, they're not going to put it all straight out there for you. But us, as the Hebrews, we show who we are through our actions, not through just how we look. And then we also pray to our Heavenly Father to give us direction. But the thing is, they've hidden the whole part about the earthly mother, because I'm going to get into some stuff about that as well in another video very soon. You know, But the earthly mother has been here for a very long time, helping us. And it's actually in our scriptures as well. But we'll, we will get into that very soon. But this kind of came to me. I wanted to put out a quick video about this, and it'll probably help with, with the next one, okay? I'm trying to make sure I got everything here about the actions and everything else I wanted to talk about, okay? But you, as you see, the world is still calling us black. So they're making it seem like it's all black people that are all have all gone through this, and it hasn't been all black people that have gone through this. This is why they come up with these things like, oh, black people owned other black people, or black people sold other black people. Yeah, well, we know that that is because not all black people are the same. Just when they say, oh, na all Native Americans own black people. Well, not all Native Americans are the same. You know, I said, if you look at this, this is a huge continent here. We had many different people who looked different ways. 
Okay. So we'll get into some more information very soon. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.